Yeah, Dan, let me let me hit you on this specifically with Boach because he, he did such a great job with those Giants bullpens winning three World Series in five years. He's done the same thing with a bullpen that everybody thought was flawed this year. They've held up his touch in the bullpen specifically. Matt, you stole just what I was I wanted to bring up. I, I think he has a lot of strength and Chris t uh, uh, Cliff touched on it, but I think his handling of a bullpen and letting that bullpen sort its way out. Uh, this was a bullpen really late August, early September. Being kind, this was Gasoline Alley. They lost so many games that they should have won that an easy thing to do as a manager, you can get angry and you can show that anger in the dugout. You can, you know, you could start stomping back and forth and, you know, Hey, there were some unpleasant mound trips, like he'd have to come get the ball from a guy and, you know, you can't sugarcoat it, but he's able to rally the guys. And just like the San Francisco Giants, they had a good bullpen, but not a lockdown bullpen, right? The kind of bullpen is like, hey, but they figured out how to use guys, how to maneuver guys. And I will say this, Matt, he's figured out right now. His troubleshooter is Boris. That guy is a guy that he can bring in when there's trouble. He's a strike thrower and he's let Leclerc take over that ninth inning job. Think about this. They acquired a role this Chapman because Will Smith was having a little bit difficulty. But to me, Spores is the difference maker in that bullpen. He's the guy with traffic. If if the Diamondbacks have something brewing in the seventh and eighth, he can trust him to throw strikes. He can trust him to keep the ball in the ballpark. And the big word that comes with a bullpen, trust. You have to have a guy that's your guy. And to me, that's Spores. He settles things down. And somehow, some way, they've enabled LeClerc to like ease his way into that ninth inning. And Boach has figured out, trial and error, how this bullpen works. And he's great at it. I thought... There was no team that was going to take on Aroldis Chapman. Zero. I just thought he was stuck in Kansas City. He's going to be stuck there. It's done. And when, you know, the first thing you think about when you're playing good baseball is you want anybody to come in and disrupt the chemistry in the winning clubhouse, mm -hmm. right? You don't want anybody to come in with all the, you know, hoopla, whatever case may be. And that's speculation on my part because I don't know what he's bringing to the table other than he was stuck in Kansas City. Who's going to take him on because he's pitching well there, right? And guess who gets him? Because he knew that it, Araldis wasn't going to come in and change the culture in the clubhouse. So you have to trust that. But I'm, I'm assuming when he walks in, you got to go to the manager's office and have a conversation somehow. And you have to understand what you got. So when you talk about the bullpen, it's how can we shorten the game and understand we're going to put Eagles aside and if, if Araldis is struggling, I got to go get you. Right? I mean, look, yeah. we want you yeah. to come in and be the guy. But yeah. I think that's what he brings because when you can cross your legs and chill, and relax, and everybody's on the same page with you, I think you can get guys to play at their best. Yeah, I'll take a crack at this, too, because, look, Boach is a big presence. He's a big dude. He's got big pipes. He commands a room. He's going to look you in the eye and tell you as it is. He doesn't play any politics with his players. He treats position players and pitchers with the same kind of respect and care. He runs a good game strategically, and he's funny. He's sneaky funny now. <laughs> I remember talking to Boach years ago when he had uh, the, the Kung Fu Panda on the team, right? And, and uh, Pablo Sandoval was on and off the I.L. with a hurt foot. And I said to him, uh, Boach, what are you going to do with the Panda when he comes off the I.L. with the foot problem? He goes, mm, I'm going to step on his other foot. <laughs> I mean, of course, kidding. <laughs> but, you know, funny. <laughs> he knows how to break, break up tension in a room. Yeah. And, you know, I just love the fact that a guy that, that was managed by him, Chris Young, hired him oh, yeah. to come and fix his team. And now they're four wins away from hoisting the commissioner. And, and you know another thing, too, I think you look back at those Giants runs. He had a great pitching coach in Dave Rigetti and give Chris Young a lot of credit bringing in Mike Maddox. Mike Maddox is as good of a pitching coach as it is. And I think Bruce Bochy needed a guy like, listen, that's not my expertise. My expertise is running a game, running a bullpen. You handle the pitchers, and they brought that guy in. That was Mike Maddox.